today's video regarding HP DexJet 2700 series printer so press the power button on also load A4 size sheets so that we can print the page open the output tray now go to the display panel so we have to activate the Wi-Fi direct of this printer uh, that is a small icon just above the tricolor cartridge if you don't see that just press the wireless button once it will activate the Wi-Fi direct we also need to print a printer information page where we can find out the password of this printer so press the information button once so printer is printing the printer information page and we will find out the name of the Wi-Fi direct printer here which is under the Wi-Fi direct icon as you can see here and also the password now go to your iPhone or Android device and open the Wi-Fi setting look for the printer's name that is direct HP DexJet 2700 enter the password as written on the sheet click on the join button so once it is connected we go and open the HP smart app you can download the app from the app store if you don't have and here we have to add this printer so click on the plus button on the top and here you will see the name of the printer so click on that again so it will add up and it will show up some details about the printer here now open the top scanner lid and place a page facing downwards on the right hand side corner and then you can close the lid so that we can start the scanning so once you do it now go to the app again and click on the printer scan option as you can see here which is uh, here you can see so that once you click it you will see blue icon click on that again and it will start the scan and it will transfer the scan to your device here we can see the uh, first scan is transferred here now to do the multiple pages open the top scanner lid and place a second page again facing downwards on the right hand side corner and in the app section click on the plus button as you can see on this screen and click on the blue icon again so it will start to sec scan second page so now we can see we have two pages here now in the same way we can add number of pages and once you are ready just click on the save and share button as you can see here click on that and here we get option to change the name of the file so if you want you can change it and here it says the format and click on the PDF and click on the share and save button now you get a location where you want to save it so if you want you can save it to the HP smart app so that you can easily find it out there so once it is done go back now I'll show you where how we can find it to find out that scan we go and click on the view and print option which is at the bottom of the screen of app and you see the folder name HP smart files click on that and on the top you can see the file is available so this is the file which we have converted into the PDF format as a single document so that's the easiest way we can use this printer for scanning multiple pages as a single PDF file. Thanks for watching.